Okay, let's discuss something called the pursuit curve today. Uh, the pursuit curve has uh, an eagle right here flying this path and a rabbit uh, running along the y-axis here. And we'll have both the eagle and the rabbit uh, run at a or the eagle fly at a velocity uh, equal to one and the rabbit run at a velocity equal to one. You could change those. Those are, those are just to make the equation a little bit simpler. Uh, but of course you could have the, this. But the point is that they're both going to be moving at a constant velocity. So when the eagle's here, its velocity is one. When it's here, it's one. And here it's one. And the same thing with the rabbit. It's going to have a constant velocity. Now, this is the curve that we're going to be going after. It's called the pursuit curve, the pursuit of the eagle uh, for the uh, uh, for the rabbit here. And we'll call that curve y, which equals some function of x. Um, any random point on that will, we'll call, of course, be uh, uh, signified with a, a coordinate x, y. And, of course, the slope of this curve uh, we'll call y prime, of course. And what we want is, we want the, the fact that the eagle will always face wherever the rabbit ears uh, is, at the same moment wherever the eagle is, it will always face the uh, rabbit. So when the rabbit was here and the eagle was here, the eagle was flying towards the rabbit. And when the rabbit is here and the eagle is here, uh, of course, um, the eagle will face the rabbit here. And so, of course, uh, the path of the, the eagle, the tangent uh, of the path of the eagle is where um, the termination point on the y-axis is where the rabbit is. So if we take this random point right here, uh, x, y, on the path, um, the eagle will face uh, the rabbit here, and the tangent of the curve uh, will um, uh, be uh, parallel, of course, to uh, the line that connects this point, uh, the point where the eagle is on the path, and at the same moment, at the same time, where the rabbit is um, on the uh, y-axis uh, right here. So again, the point of um, uh, on this curve of the eagle will be x, y, and the point of the rabbit um, it will be uh, 0, of course, for the x-coordinate, and the y-coordinate will be um, uh, y, which of course will be the velocity times whatever time has passed since it started, since it started moving in, in the initial condition, and so uh, we'll have a zero. The coordinate of the rabbit will be zero, uh, v times t, and v is one. So of course it'll be just zero t if we plug in a one for the velocity right there. Uh, the equation of a line, of course, is y minus y one equals m uh, x minus x one. So let's plug in what we know. Um, uh, we'll do these two points. We need two points, um, and we'll need uh, the slope right here. So our two points will be the x, y, and the 0, t. Uh, so we'll put the 0 and the t right there, 0 and t. That'll be this coordinate. And then we'll put the x, y, the coordinate uh, along the path, uh, right here uh, for x and y. There it is, x and y will be this coordinate, and 0 and t will be this coordinate. And the slope of the line, of course, will be the, the, the derivative of the uh, path uh, that the eagle takes. The pursuit curve will be the slope of the pursuit curve is the derivative of the pursuit curve. Um, DA means do, do some algebra here, and you'll get this differential equation. Now, what's very interesting about this differential equation is it has a function of, uh, it's a function of y prime, y, x, and t. And that's going to be a difficult uh, differential equation to solve unless we know a little trick, um, which is very, uh, is worthy almost of just doing the problem, just to learn this trick on how to solve differential equations like this. After all, the arc length of this path right here, uh, the arc length is equal to the integral of the square root of 1 plus y prime squared from, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, dx. Um, uh, from uh, uh, first first semester calculus, we have this equation for arc length, and uh, arc length uh, is the distance, and the distance will be a velocity times time. But if the velocity, as we said, of the eagle is one, so constant velocity, then one times t is just t. So t along this arc path by the arc length formula 
at t equals the integral of the square root of 1 plus y prime squared of dx. So right there where there's a t, we're going to plug that integral right in there. So there's that. There's this minus y, xy prime, xy prime, minus y, minus y, plus, not t, but the integral of the square root of 1 plus y prime squared of dx. And that will equal a 0. So this equation, with this substituted in for t, it becomes this, uh, 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 we could say, integral uh, differential equation. And what we'll do is we'll take the derivative of this. And uh, the derivative of this, of course, the uh, derivative of that is 1, leave this alone, minus, um, uh, uh, plus, uh, leave this alone, uh, take the derivative of this, uh, so y double prime, minus, the derivative of y is y prime, plus, and the derivative of the integral, of course, is just the inside, which is 1 plus y prime squared, the square root of, and that equals 0. So the derivative of this, uh, uh, do the derivative is what this means, is this. Uh, do algebra on this, and you'll get this. If you do a little bit of algebra, we'll get this differential equation. Uh, to solve this differential equation, it's not too bad. We'll do a, a substitution. We'll let u equal y prime right here. And, um, uh, of course, the derivative of that will be y double prime. So in for y double prime, we can put du dx. So we'll put that in here, and we'll put the u uh, in here. And we'll get uh, this right here. If we swing the du dx, uh, du divided by dx right here, uh, we'll swing the dx over here on this side. And we're ready to do the integral, di. So the integral of this, I'm not going to do, of course, uh, that would be a, a lot of fun to do. So uh, just a simple trigonometric substitution. Let u equal uh, tangent of uh, theta. And you can, I'll let you do that. I don't want to boggle this up with more... Uh, thing, but uh, or you could just do it with a TI 89 like I did, or um, or as um, Wolfram Alpha or some other integral things. But, anyways, the integral of this is natural log of the absolute value of u plus the square root of 1 plus u squared, uh, close absolute value. Um, the integral of this is easy enough negative natural log of absolute value of x plus some constant a. Uh, we'll do a little bit of algebra, dA, do some algebra on this, and we'll get this right here. And uh, we'll swing the u over and uh, do a little bit of algebra again. And we'll be left with this, which, of course, we'll want to square that to get rid of the square root. Do algebra, da. So if you square this and square this, you get this. And then do algebra. If you do algebra and solve for this u, these two u squareds cancel. Solve for that u, you'll get this right here. Of course, u, remember, was equal to y prime. So these people equal y prime. So we can do the integral of both sides here. Uh, the integral of this, of course, is this. The integral of this is this, uh, plus some constant. And the integral of y prime is y. And so we can solve that uh, very easily to get this. And this is what's called uh, the pursuit curve. Um, it has two, con uh, two constants, b and c, according to the initial conditions of where you'd like the eagle to start uh, and where you'd like the uh, rabbit to start at the beginning of the experiment. Uh, that that uh, is to unfold. Okay, well, that is the pursuit curve uh, right here. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to any comments at the bottom, and thank you very much for watching.